Hey guys, it's Kerry. Today I have a new black leopard, polar bear and zebra. Leopard, body size and colour patterns varies geographically and reflects adaptions to particular habitats. They have a broad head and their massive skull allows for powerful jaw muscles. The leopard's scapula has specialised attachment sites for climbing muscles. They have long whiskers extending from dark spots on the upper lip and long whiskers in their eyebrows that protects their eyes while moving through dense vegetation. Orangutan Bornean orangutans are arboreal and rarely descend to the ground. They generally live in the old growth forests ranging from the lowland swampy areas to peat swamps and flood prone dipteracup forests produce more fruit than the dry forests and have a higher density of Bornean orangutans because they migrate depending on fruit availability. Dominant flanged males often have an established territory that will encompass multiple females' territories. The multiple females within the male's territory will copulate with him and produce his offspring. Rhinoceros I'm going to talk about the Indian rhinoceros or greater one-horned rhino. This single horn grows to 60 centimetres in length. Its thick, silver-brown skin folds into the shoulder, back and rump, giving it an armoured appearance. There are wart-like bumps on the upper legs and shoulders and very little body hair. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Polar bear with reproduction Normally, a female would not allow a male to be anywhere near her for fear of possibly being killed. It is essential that she builds up trust with the male that is approaching her. Once sufficient trust has been established, after a week or so of interactions, the female will allow the male to mount. Mating then carries on for several periods sometimes in excess of two hours at a time for several days in a row. Physiologically, this needs to happen for ovulation to occur and the egg to be fertilised. Because the intensity of competition between adult males is significant and since larger males are more likely to outcompete smaller ones for mating privileges, through natural selection over the longer term, adult males have evolved to be roughly double the size of females. Zebra, males use sounds and visual cues to assert their dominance. They may do this by baring their teeth flapping their ears, kicking or biting other males. Territorial males often harass females into breeding with them using these same techniques. Immediately after the foal is born, it burns to imprint what its mother looks like, her distinctive scent and vocalizations. This allows it to directly follow its mother and can recognise the shape of the stripes on its mother's backside. Quagga is an extinct subspecies of the plain zebra that was endemic to South Africa until it was hunted to extinction. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.